This today is the perfect product for me to review on a Sunday afternoon because it gives me a chance to ramble on, talk a little bit around it and make a few mistakes that will happen just because I'm so excited and you will definitely notice that for the Audio God or Audio GD NFB1128. And it's not just such an amazing device for its sound quality, but especially for its value with a price of around $300. I think with import you are at $400. The official price from Magna Hi-Fi where I got it in Europe is 400 euros. And since it is a product that I actually bought for myself where I'm so happy with, I want to take all the time necessary to cover it as good as I can. So let's actually already start with a tour around it and obviously you can see that I took off the lid because we will have to talk about the insides a little bit more. But first of all, let's check the front. Here we have obviously the 6.35 millimeter jack and actually here it already starts to amaze me because this sound sounds so nice this is just a sound that i usually don't get from any other headphone amp deck so this is already great also the sound when it actually turns off which i can't show since it's not plugged in is so nice to see it's a nice definitely unique difference now here we can change between headphone variable and fixed and the focus doesn't work low and high gain change the volume obviously this feels very nice absolutely good and we can change between coax usb and optical the whole build quality is absolutely fine there are no sharp edges or anything like that it has a good weight and a good quality feel to it now on the back we have obviously the deck out right and left we have the optical usb and coax inputs and then obviously here for the power and this is already pretty much it it doesn't sound maybe that exciting but it is and the main reason therefore sits here inside because for example here we have two jumpers where we can place to make the sound warmer and even more so interesting definitely way more important are the jumpers that you can place in here and i know you can't really see them all that well here they would be you can have a glimpse of them right now and i have to actually get into the side to show things a little bit closer up now in terms of magna hive you can also for example do some upgrades for example with an coax and rca interlink but the important part is lying here because here are the jumper settings and it says out of the box it comes default with a brick wall filter but that is actually not true because what it comes out of the box with is fast roll of minimum because there is a hidden jumper that i will show you later on that is already set and these two are in now there are a lot of different ones that we can show for example here there would be the two ones to make it warmer and i will actually link you also this thread on Headfire or because there are a few people talking about the actual changes and I think these might be quite helpful for you to kind of see what you are so it's a very interesting thread and you should definitely check it which I did now here for example like I said already that's a little bit hard to see under this optical chip there is another ju jumper that was placed a, a shorter one so in case you want to change it you would have to take out the screw take off the platen a little bit and then you can get to that but I have to say the great thing pretty much the best aspect of this one it's not just the saber deck that i've heard that is so such a good deck which i can't really judge so much because i really don't care much about these chips if i have the device here and i can ch check it on my own then i know obviously if you know more about it you know this headphone app deck has this and this chip so it should sound like this and this i can't do that i don't have the experience yet and i didn't really have such a good headphone amp deck combo yet for example, I have the Cambridge Deck Magic Plus, but that's even on the same price, just not the same level. But talking about these jumpers once again, for example, what you can change with these are obviously if we go back to the site, let's actually do this real quick. You can see that you can change it from fast roll of linear to slow roll of linear, fast roll of obviously. You can see that. You can check this on your own. And like I said, check the thread because this gives you the option to just adjust the sound along with the warmer setting to your headphones. Now, for example, I at the moment, my default ones are the Odyssey LCD 2C, which are quite a dark headphone. I know some people disagree with me on that, but I would definitely call them dark. And the option to, for example, adjust the sound a little bit brighter, pretty much balanced out every little issue that I had with the LCD 2C. For example, what I have it on now is fast roll of linear because the option for the that i wanted which is the recommended one which is slow roll of linear you would have to take out the jumper that is beneath and i didn't really want to get into that because i don't think it's really necessary because the sound on its own already is so amazing so before i'm going to actually talk about the differences what the jumpers do and the sound, let's talk about the actual 
features. Now, obviously, you can change and you can obviously use the deck and all that. That's obvious. Now, you can or you should, you have to actually install the Amanero driver. That one is also, I will be linked that in the description available. And it's very easy. You just install the X, that's it. I've heard that on the NFB 11, there was a little bit more of an issue to get the driver running. I had no issues at all with that. And then you can obviously change the settings. I'm not quite so sure about how many bits it can do. Don't think that really matters. It can up to, up to 32 bit 484K in case that's important for you. It's not really that much for me because I don't really care so much about these differences. But what is very important for me is a lot of power, which this one has, especially compared to my Cambridge Audio Deck Magic Plus, where with the um, Mr. Speaker E4C flow, I was already limiting it completely out. I was at 100% and I still could have listened louder. With this one, I was maybe at 60%. So this one has more than enough reserves. I have no headphone that could even get close to getting this out. So I think I would listen to roughly at about 50%. If, if at all, with the high gain to get my maximum volume with the Odyssey LTD 2C and even some other more demanding ones did not nearly need its full potential, which is great to have because with that one you can expand. But let's get actually back to the, the jumpers. Out of the box, the sound was very neutral, if at all slightly on the brighter side, but really just m m minimally. But a lot of details, such a nice sound, size, sound stage and the sound perfectly balanced. Now, since I said my LTE2C are a little bit too dark, I set the switch to, let me just check that once again, I don't want to say something wrong, to fast roll of linear. And that kind of expanded for me, at least, it seems like the resolution, everything got a little bit more detailed, a little bit brighter, but most importantly for me, with these headphones a little bit more livelier. And that was just the perfect balance with these headphones. Now, but the great thing is, if you have already brighter headphones, just use the warmer settings or maybe adjust some of the other ones. Just, just play with the filters. You can spend hours and hours on these, but I was actually too lazy for that and I just took for granted what already the people on Headfire Org did because they talked about all of these differences and I just stick with the option to have for zero, one and two in, which means fast roll off linear. And that one just gave me the perfect sound for the LTE2C, which I would say for some headphones might be not as perfect because if you have an already very bright or very neutral one, things for me tend to be a little bit brighter and a little bit more kind of clearer, but that's exactly what I wanted to. But if you have something too bright or too harsh, you can, you can kind of minimize this and you can... This is such a flexible device. This is so great because, yes, for example, the Cambridge Audio Dark Magic Plus has also free, free settings with, I think, a, a linear filter, a minimum and the steep one. And those differences are also audible. But for example, I wouldn't have actually expected the warm setup or the warm setting to make such a difference because I thought it would be marginal. And it's not extreme. It's not like you have something super neutral and then super warm. But the obvious difference did actually impress me quite a lot because the whole sound, especially female vocals, just got more body to it and were a little bit more impressive. But that setting for me sounded like I'm missing a little bit on the details, like the high end would have been a little bit softer, a little bit filtered out. So I want maximum resolution, I want maximum details, I want maximum clarity and liveliness. And that's what I got with this one here. So I have to say, now this is something that you have to consider. The price around 400 euros doesn't maybe seem too cheap, but considering that with a, for example, headphone, like for example, the LTD 2C, you are at the price at around, let's say roughly 1000 euros, which definitely obviously isn't cheap. But if we take into consideration that this is actually their cheapest headphone amp, then we can go up to way more. There are combos of 5000 for amp and deck and for a headphone. So you can spend tens of thousands of euros for a headphone. But personally, I am not willing to do that. I appreciate good sound, but for now my limit is reached and I'm super happy with that because this combo, 1000 euros, is actually not asked for that much too if you consider what you get for it because I'm happy now for the next few years until I will maybe finally settle. I guess this will be, will be kind of my end game if there is such a thing, but that's where I think I will be good. Most probably something like on um, Stacks LC700, LC, I meant L700 with, a, with the matching energizer. But until then, with this combo, I am super happy. But let's get back to the actual headphone amp. I am 
absolutely confident in saying that with this headphone amp I can review pretty much every headphone that I will get my hands on because for example the E4C Flow that's already quite high end on the good sound before we are going into absurdly high prices and it could easily drive it and I just can't think of anything that I couldn't drive. I have more than enough power. I have all the options that I need because personally I just use USB, but you have optical, you have digital uh, You could also obviously use just the deck. You could set up speakers to that. So for what it is, it's more than versatile enough. It sounds so great because I did definitely notice a huge difference compared to what I had before. For example, I had a shit Magni 2, but not with a good, not with a good deck. That already was a big jump when I jumped from that one to the Deck Magic Plus. But when I got this, yeah, I knew that pretty much I will never use the Deck Magic Plus unless it's for comparison reasons for other headphones to just check some different variations. And the Deck Magic Plus, if you have seen a review of that one, which will also come on my channel, you know that this is a really capable, nice 400 euro headphone amp. But this one. Obviously, you can't buy it everywhere because you have to import it, but I am so happy that I did because I am set now for the following future to review pretty much everything I can get my hands on and I can securely say that I did use up most of its potential because otherwise we are talking about spheres of prices where I think it gets a little bit weird and that's just for the super rich ones, which I am definitely not one of them. Therefore, my channel is too small, but I can tell you that with this 1000 euro combo here, I am set. I am super happy with that and especially with this. This is one of the best purchases that I've made for my own and not really sure what else to say. Did I miss something? I mean the quality is there, you have all the, the drivers, the build quality is fine, it, the adjustment, the volume knob is nice, nice premium feel of the headphone jack. I just have to do this once again. <laughs> this just has something to it, especially with the sound. Once you turn it off, it makes this nice click sound. We have also a blue LED that is very subtle. So yeah, 400 euros or depending if you can get it cheap or import it maybe somewhere else. Absolutely worth it. Absolutely. I could not be any happier. Obviously, there is always something better around. But for this price, I, I don't think I will be... I, I would be able to justify anything more than that because it's not necessary I think yes maybe I will try to maybe review some of the higher end ones to see how big the difference is and if it's maybe justifiable but so far I, I don't think if you don't want to go into prices of about two three thousand euros for your whole setup and upwards but stay at around one thousand this can drive everything up to two three thousand euro headphones without any issues at all yep that's it I hope I helped you and in case, maybe a thumbs up and le let me know in the comments what you actually use if you have heard it and if you maybe have heard something better and such because that's what, that would be a nice conversation. So until next time, bye.